Dr. Esselstyn, we've been pure with your diet, but my cholesterol won't come down at all. It never goes below 220. If we had a thousand people who absolutely followed our program to a T, everybody's going to be different. Everybody has a different thermostat in their liver for making cholesterol. There will be some who will have a total cholesterol of 102, some at 130, 160, 180, 200, 220. But your liver wasn't made to produce so much cholesterol that it would give you heart disease. Your liver is going to behave itself. But what happens is that when you eat in a way that you destroy the endothelial capacity to make nitric oxide, your endothelial lining becomes splintered with holes and gaps and crevices. Cholesterol creeps through, gets into the subendothelial space, begins this whole process of oxidative inflammation and plaque formation, and now you're off and running with that. So when we have taken several people who let's say have a cholesterol 240, 220, it's stubborn. Just for two weeks, we asked them to eliminate absolutely every grain, just for two weeks. Now, what do you do when you get a drop? And you start back in and create the whole problem again. No, you can try to be a little selective and see if you can't, uh, when you start back in, start with something like brown rice and then have your cholesterol checked in another two weeks. Now, if you're going to do this with each grain, I, you, I, I don't want you to have to go to your doctor to get a cholesterol every week. So often what the patients do is they or either to a drugstore or over the internet, they'll buy these home cholesterol determination kits where you just do a little little tiny finger prick. And they're actually really quite reliable in, in terms of their accuracy. And then you can get an idea of whether this shifting in the grains, because it may find it you just your level will stay as low with brown rice. You might not have to add too many other grains. You might then decide you're going to add something like barley or rye. Check it again.